Hello Oracle world, this is Justin and in this Oracle uh, YouTube video tutorial I'm going to discuss what you what to do if you were to accidentally drop a PLSQL package that was supplied by um, Oracle. Okay, and these are the internal PLSQL packages that um, Oracle provides. So, let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance. Ensure we're set properly. And let's log in to our connect to our database by SQL Plus and ensure we are connected to the correct database, selecting from the dollar sign database, finance. Now, one of the um, packages that we're going to look at is DBMS underscore output. Okay, and this is used a lot in PLSQL um, programming. And uh, one of the ways it's used in PLSQL programming is this is a simple example here, and it's and I'm not going to put it in a proper PLSQL block or show you any of that. Refer to my how to program in PLSQL um, Oracle YouTube video series on details on how to do that. But I'm just going to show you a simple code in PLSQL here, simple two-line code actually, um, not in blocks or anything. Uh, that shows you the use of the DB, uh, dbms underscore output package. So set server output on, and we just do execute dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. Open paren single quote hello Oracle world. And there it is, it, it prints out, hello, Oracle world, PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Okay, so in this example, the dbms underscore output is a PLSQL package. So dbms underscore output is the PLSQL package that's provided by Oracle. And when you create your database, remember, you issue the create database command, which um, creates your data files and control files and, and also creates your data dictionary um, base tables with the dollar signs at the end of them, uh, you execute your catalog.sql script, which is a wrapper script that calls other scripts that create your, your views on top of your data dictionary tables. Remember, your dba underscore, your all underscore, and your user underscore views. And then you execute the catproc.sql script, which is, a, which is a wrapper script that calls other scripts which um, create your PLSQL packages. Okay, for your Oracle database, Oracle Spider. One of the one of the packages it creates is DBMS underscore output. Okay. Okay. So, if we want to look at the DBMS underscore output package, i.e., we want to see what procedures, because remember, put line, put underscore line is just a procedure, and the DBMS underscore output package. So, if we want to see all the procedures, including this one that the dbms underscore output package contains we use the describe command just like we do against tables remember the describe command against a table or a view shows you the structure of that table or a view but if we do it against the package we'll get the structure of the plsql package so we say describe dbms underscore output okay and we'll get all the procedure here all the procedures here okay in that package There is procedure new line, procedure put line. There's the put line procedure that we used. See, there's the put line procedure, and there's us using it right there in the DBMS output package. Okay, so now go ahead and drop that package. Drop package DBMS underscore output. And again, it's even the Oracle stuff is not all protected. The stuff that comes of Oracle, okay? They're just right. You know, Oracle is using the database just like you would for your business data to keep its metadata, the data describing itself in, it, in its in what's called a data dictionary, and also to uh, and also to um, to keep its it, uh, the source code of packages that you will need, not the Oracle source code, the source code of stuff you will you will use in Oracle, okay, and and, uh, and programs you'll create in Oracle. So it utilizes the database for its own uses. So it's just like a regular database, and you have authority 
you can drop the package. Now, if you attempt to execute that DBMS output put line um, command, as I showed you earlier, which, by the way, should work on any Oracle database. It's standard. Okay, put underscore line procedure and DBMS output. We get an error here saying it's not declared because we dropped our package. And Oracle, unfortunately, allowed us to do that. So, but keep in mind, you are a sys user. So, you know, if you were a user with less privilege, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, how do we correct this? Well, we do what we do is as if we just created our Oracle database. We run the Oracle supplied catproc.sql script, which is a wrapper script which calls other scripts, which would, should recreate the PLSQL packages that Oracle supplies. So we do add sign, which means um, execute external script, question mark, which is a shortcut for RDBMS. I mean for Oracle Home, and then we go to RDBMS subdirectory admin catproc SQL. So at sign question mark slash RDBMS slash admin slash catproc dot SQL. And this is going to run and this is going to recreate our packages. Again, if this if if this if I had a if someone called me and said that I'm running a PLSQL script and I'm getting this error and I determined that one of the packages they're trying to use is has been deleted accidentally or the DBA even knows it when they call me and they say, oh, I just deleted it. Oh, I, I was looking for the unenter key. <laughs> I'll tell them to either just restore a cold or hot backup of the database if they have downtime and if they can do it. Um, and I would also direct them to open a service request in, um, with Oracle support via the My Oracle support website or the MetaLink, uh, formerly known as the MetaLink website, just to verify with them, to confirm with them that what that executing the cat proc script is something that they would recommend. Okay, I'm going to let this run and pause the video to save YouTube space. Okay, the cat proc .sql script um, has completed running which should have recreated your PLSQL packages. Again, if you altered any of the PLSQL packages, uh, they would be recreated here, so keep that in mind. Your alterations would be gone. So maybe it's a good idea to find where it creates that package in, the, in that cat proc script. You know, it's going to take some time to file through it unless you have some sort of internal Oracle documentation and um, that points you right to it and um, just recreate it for that package. But now that we did that, now our execute uh, dbms put line command should work. Set server output on. There it is. Hello, Oracle World. PLSQL procedure successfully completed. And if we describe dbms output package, we will see all the procedures put line, all the procedures associated with that package. Okay. And again, the only the only um, integrity check I can do on the database as a whole, um, at least what I can be satisfied with, is shut down the database and bringing it back up because I can't account for all scenarios and applications and environments. And again, if you lose a if you lose a package like that, Oracle supply package, open a service request with Oracle support, do some research online, or and seriously consider just recovering the database backup. But this is definitely an option that I have used um, and has been successful in recreating. And um, after that, the databases have run fine for months, even years after we do that. We did that. So, you know, there didn't seem to be any effects, negative effects to it. Okay, database has been started again. So we can go ahead and do our execute again. Well, we've got to set our server output on. Oops. Set server output on. And we do our execute again. There it is. Hello, Oracle World. PLS Go procedure successfully completed. And we can, of course, again, take a look at all of our procedures which are contained in that package. Okay? And this will work for any Oracle supplied PLSQL uh, package, okay, to bring it back. Okay, that's how you mainly create it. Thank you.